The Fighters of Siung Wanara. Selamat pagi Kang Iwa. Hello uh, Kang Iwa. Kang Iwa kita ingin meng Kang Iwa, could you introduce yourself? Biodata dari Anda. Ya, seperkenalkan biodata. Well, my name is Kustina Gunawan. I was born in Bandung in the Siputra district on August 29th in 1982. Within a family practicing pencha. I'm the fourth son of the family. Kebetulan saya dilahirkan dari keluarga pesilat dan saya anak keempat dari empat bersaudara. Dari umur berapa? How old were you when you started pencak silat? I've been practicing pencak silat since the age of five with my dad, and until this day, I've been going on with the practice with my dad to try to do the best pencak possible. Cukup untuk saya sendiri. What do you prefer in Penchak? Do you prefer it as a sport, self-defense, an art? What I like with Penchak Silat is that it's made up of various aspects. Because my father was a pear silat, I enjoyed very early the forms only, self-defense, the work on the fight as a choreography. But it's also true that, based on the technical nature of my style, I appreciate more the work with a partner on the tag defense. We'd like to know what you are showing in this DVD. The contents of this DVD are devoted to the movement on which is based Ganda. How to dodge, to attack, to block, to move around. You may learn a full-length combination from the start of the action to the fall. That is, a complete combination of the various basic movements. Are there some requirements, some rules in order to practice penchak silat? Be tall, strong, muscular? About the body, there is no specific criteria. On the other hand, for the sports aspects, there might be some restrictions. But in order to learn penchak silat, everyone should go depending on their own physical nature. What message do you wish to tell the young practitioners of penchak silat? My wish is to practice Penchak Silat not only for self-defense, but also for friendship, brotherhood. For this martial art is not done to create enemies, but friends. Thank you, Kengiwa. Pemanasan, warm-up specific to Genda practice. Within the Genda work, there are various body parts that you need to warm up. It's even possible to double the warm up. Start with the head. This exercise is done to warm up the head and the shoulder. Here you work on the elasticity of the head backward, forward, to the right, and to the left. Each position must be held in five Satu, times. Dua, tiga, empat, lima. Satu, dua, 
3, 4, 5 Tengok 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 Dari kepala ke tangan Satu, dua, tiga, empat, lima Balik Satu, dua, tiga, These exercises empat, are done to work lima. on the elasticity and the suppleness of shoulders and wrists To prepare for the following exercises you should try to reach maximum suppleness Satu, dua, tiga, empat, lima 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 Satu Dua Tiga Empat Lima Terus Satu Dua Tiga Empat Lima Satu Dua, tiga, empat, lima Satu, dua, tiga, empat, lima Satu, dua, tiga, empat, lima ya, Pinggang Buka lagi Satu, dua, tiga, empat, These exercises lima. are done to work on the suppleness and the resistance of the legs, the elasticity of the lower back and of the sides. Satu, dua, tiga, empat, lima. Satu, dua, tiga, empat, lima Satu, dua, tiga, empat, lima Satu, dua, tiga, empat, lima Terus, oke Rang kaki. This exercise Satu, is the same as the dua, previous one, except tiga, that you must catch empat, the head lima, so that lima. you create maximum building of the ankle onto the lower back. Satu, dua, tiga, empat, lima. Satu, dua, tiga, empat, lima. Satu, dua, tiga, empat, lima Tarik Ya, kaki Satu, dua, tiga, empat, lima Nanti These exercises are done to work on the suppleness and the resistance of the legs Satu, dua, Tiga, empat, lima Makan Mata itu Satu, dua, 
you catch the head of the other or you lift it up so that you create muscular unwinding and you increase the opening angle. Satu, dua, tiga, empat, lima. Latian Kikratan, strengthening of the muscles. For strengthening of the body, of the trapezes, and of the legs. For the exercises, we start first by trying to hold on the head. Secondly, you stretch the legs over the head. Once you master these two steps, you can start doing the exercise as a fight. Now, on the side. This exercise is done for strengthening of the toes and ankles. Jatuan falls. These exercises are done to learn how to fall without putting the hand on the ground. For this exercise, you need to try to fall back on the spot. Indaran dodges. Indaran dodges against punches. After the warm up of the legs, of the body, of the shoulders, and of the wrists, we're going to see the dodges against punches. Let's see first the dodges of the head. Most important with this exercise is to increase the dodge of the head. The head should only go along the movement of the head.
in Dahan, dodges on kicks. After the arms, we're going to see the attacks with kicks, such as the front facing kicks. On these dodges, this time the chest becomes active and plays a lead part with the head. Dodge on the round kick. With a taking off kick. Tankisan blocks. Tankisan blocks against punches. Now we're going down with blocks against punches. These moves are the follow up of the previous moves with this time blocks. The head is less important for the arms, I have now the lead part. Now with two hands. Rang dengan kepangan. Kepang dengan kekisan. With the knife. Satu tangan. With only one hand. Now with tough blocks. Tankisan blocks against kicks. Now, while blocking. 
On this series of blocks, you add up moving around and grip. No, why catching? Jurus Jurus of the monkey Here is a Jurus of Siung Wanara with moves that stem from the moving around of the monkey. Thank you. 
Jewels Applications. For this technique, both hands block simultaneously and go towards the head. For this technique, you must block the arm and counter-strike with the kick at the same time. This technique shows you how to block a punch while preparing a counter with an arm lock. This technique shows you how to combine blocks followed with a throw and a lock. Genda Genda Tangan Kosong Empty Hands yeah, Well, now ini, we're gonna see the mix of hands movements with tangan, feet kaki, movements and falls in order to make it a Genda Untuk Genda To start the training of the Genda, you're gonna adapt a range rather far away, almost yeah. two steps from each other, and shorten this range until you are facing only an elbow way.
Sekarang gerakan selanjutnya. Now the following movement.
Genda, Golog vs. Pizzo. Sekarang gabungan senjata Golok sama pisau. Now by combining the Golok handling and of the Pizzo handling. This combination is the follow-up of the empty hands part, but with the use of the weapon. Ganda Toya. Ini adalah salah satu contoh untuk bikin gerakan ganda dengan cara menyerang dan bertahan menggunakan tongkat dan lawan tersebut menggunakan golok. Kita coba langkah awal. 
Pasangan First pertama. Position. Keserang kaki you the dan leg and the head. Of course the galak shoot muka. block and counter strike. Kemudian menangkis Lucky golok return, and you sambil counter strike with a strike to the head. Masukkan serangan ke arah kepala. Kemudian mengarah ke, ata, ke arah atas dengan menggunakan ujung tongkat. Selanjutnya, you attack the head, the legs, and one more time the head. Kepala dengan kaki dan kepala. Kemudian menangkis serangan lawan. Counter strike of the other, and you strike. Dan masukkan tongkat ke arah kaki. Apabila lawan membuat serangan ke arah tongkat, kita gunakan dengan cara pukulan tongkat. Ganda, Toya versus Golok. Selanjutnya kita lanjutkan dengan go tambahan gerakan series of Golok moves against Toya. Yaitu Golok menyerang dan tongkat bertahan. Ya. Here's a possible example to finish for this last part of the ganda that had to be followed with spectacular techniques. <laughs> 